Hello everyone, my name is Anna. Today I come to you with a Dehancer Pro plug-in review. I am so excited to review this product. I have been playing with it for about a month now and thank you the Dehancer team for reaching out and letting me test their product because it is amazing. I'm super excited to get into it. So just a quick um, PSA since people usually ask, I shoot all my content on the Canon EOS R6 in their C-Log3 profile. Um, I shoot with a Sigma 35mm 1.4 lens most of the time and I edit everything on Final Cut Pro X with my own like LUTs or presets. But if you decide to get Dehancer, then you can make your footage look like mine because I'm going to show you how I edit with Dehancer today. So usually when I load my footage into Final Cut, I'm going to change the source input to film log. Um, I don't love how Rec. 709 makes my footage look, but the cool thing is you have options with Dehancer. So I usually choose the film log and I leave all of these as they are. Uh, I will say that I edit every video different. Um, I will make a preset out of this for myself to drag and drop if I'm making a full video, but half the time I have to adjust each clip. So I'll leave the film as it is, but I will leave it check marked, and then I will go down to the film developer. I'm going to boost the contrast just a little, and I'm going to turn the gamma down the entire way. And I usually boost the color just a tad so it's a little more saturated. Onto the film compression. I'm going to turn my white point down just a little bit, and I'm going to turn the tonal range up to bring out those shadows. So now that the highlights are a little bit more under control, I go down to expand, and I'm going to turn the black point up to about 13, and I don't really mess with the white point too much. Maybe I'll tweak it like two or three points, but I don't love a super, super, super bright image. So as for the print, I do leave that blank. I don't do anything there. Um, the color head is where we color grade. It's a little less complex than your curves and color board and color wheel would be, but it does give you some control over the hue of your footage. I'm going to turn up the green just a little. I'm going to turn up the red a little bit more than the green. And for the shadow, uh, midtones, and highlights, I'm going to turn all of those up as well because I want this to be a very warm image. I ended up turning up the blue just a little bit. So now for the fun part, we have film grain, halation, and bloom. These are so much fun to play with. So this is the film grain. You can do a crazy amount with it if you want it to look like old TV static, you can for sure make it look like old TV static. Um, for this one, I'm going to turn the negative to positive because I noticed the positive film type is a little less harsh than the negative. Um, and I'm going to turn down the amount just a little bit because I want it to look like just a dusting of grain, not too much. For the halation, I'm going to enable it and I'm going to turn the hue the whole way up to 100. We're going to turn bloom on. And honestly, I enjoy how it looks just by turning it on. <laughs> uh, but we can turn down, we can turn it up, whatever you want. But I think I like it a little bit on the lower side. So with the plugin, you're also able to put vignette on your footage. I personally don't add this, but I know a lot of people love it, so it's great that it's there. Um, the Film Breath and Gate Weave, I believe, are new features to the plugin. I was researching them a little bit to figure out what they were, and I will say I don't notice a huge difference when I apply them to my footage, so I just tend to not turn them on. So here's the final product. I'm going to quickly show you the mobile app and what it has to offer because it is just as easy. So 
So that is the app and like I said, you have all the same features as you do on the computer, which I think is great. It's not, there's no learning curve if you switch from your computer to your phone. And that's as easy as it gets. Like this plugin is so easy to use. I will say it took me a little bit of time figuring out what each tool did, but when I did figure it out, it was super easy to use. I think overall the dehancer footage looks super dreamy, it looks glowy and soft and I love that because I remember seeing other people's footage on social media and I was like, how did they get it to look that way? And it was always with dehancer, so I do have really good news. If you want 10% off, you can use my name, Anna Steffi, at your checkout in the promo code section and you'll get 10% off your purchase which I think is a steal and you should definitely do it so if you've been contemplating on getting Dehancer now's your time go buy it go have fun editing tag me in the stuff that you edit with Dehancer I would love to see what you create um, but overall, I'm so thankful that I had the opportunity to play around and test this product. I definitely recommend it if you make any videos. But again, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe and like and comment. And as always, you can check out my Instagram at Anastephy with two Y's and my TikTok, which is the same handle. Bye!